What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back today with something different. And when I say different, I mean totally different. But before we get started with this review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feats, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching. Not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it. Boom! We have it here, bro. You see it? Super, super crazy, different. Uh, I've never, ever, 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 ever done a review on anything like this before, man. But my boys, they suggest to go ahead and give it a test try. That's what I'm doing. So, um, as you can see, the custom box is a Cinnamon Toast Crunch box. For those that don't know about Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it is a cereal. You know, if you know, you know. But anyway, it's crazy enough, bro. Just to give y'all a little details on this already. This box smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They actually went the extra mile and made sure to give you that, just that extra detail. So, um, box label reads, um, I, I'm believing it's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch log. Uh, it is a size 11 men's. It's not too much details on it. I don't know how much it cost. Uh, I'll probably try to put some info somewhere on my, uh, how much it cost. Um, but it's just, this is crazy, man. And it is a croc. It is a croc, just so people can know. It is a croc. And I don't do any croc reviews, but for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and open it up under the lid right here. And the actual shoes, man, the shoes are crazy. And boom. We have it here, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Crocs, man. And um, I guess they call these the actual clog Crocs. Maybe that's what that's for. I don't have too many Crocs at all. I literally only have some slide Crocs that my fiance bought, which is extremely comfortable, by the way. Um, shout out to Bae. But um, I never actually got the clog pair. You know, they always look kind of bulky to me, but you know, a lot of people wear them. A lot of people say they're comfortable. A lot of people, that's the fashion now. That's the that's the seed, man. But you know, I like the fact that, um, let me make sure that's focusing. So I like the fact that they did, um, you know, do something different, man. They're doing a lot of crazy collabs, man. From Bad Bunny to, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I've seen a Kentucky Fried Chicken clog. It's a uh, clog crock. It's crazy what these companies are doing now. And I think I think it's great for crocs, man. I think this is the perfect time for crocs to eat it up. Like you got the opportunity to get the most of your money, man. Cause back in the day, people used to get clown. A lot of women wore these just for work. You know, nurses wore these joints. Uh, somebody wore them at work for Walmart or something. But now it's like they kind of in that space, in that pop culture space where it's cool to wear crocs now. And um, I think it's dope, man. I personally wouldn't wear these myself. But I, I think it's dope, man. And I know it's something different. I know people could care less. A lot of my sneaker heads could care less about it. But I'm like, man, let me do something different, man. I know my boy, um, my boy MJ is usually the one that does more of the uh, clog croc reviews or croc reviews in general. But I think it's pretty nice, man. I think it's a dope concept. Um, I like the fact that they went the extra mile. Here's the little tag that comes with it right here sizing right here um as far as with like sizing on crocs in general um i wear a 10 and a half i don't think they wear make half sizes so it's just like almost like slides so i go up to like 11. um at first i would say with the slides um they were a little tight but over time i broke them in i think i could probably even do a, a, a 12 but i'm not sure um i haven't purchased a 12 yet so i would say at least go up half a size from your actual size or a whole size when it comes to crocs or clogs, you know, try some on if you can. But personally for me, I wear 10 and a half. I had to get an 11. I think if I got a 12, I would have a little bit more room. Uh, Cause they still kind of, they're not tight, but it's still a little roomy. But just in my opinion, I think it's definitely um, a size you should go up. Uh, they have these little straps on the back. I know that's something different. Um, I, I think usually um, it's just the, I think usually it's just like the hook. But this one has like more like the strap. This one has more like the strap feel right here uh, where you can pull this off. You can actually take this whole thing off. Can't take it off. It's not my pair. I think Zay said, shout out to Zay, by the way, for allowing me to do the review because he did pick these up. I think these are sold, so I don't want to do too much with it. Um, I do like the fact that they got these dope little giblets. 
gibbets, gibbets, it's gibbets or giblets? Crockwares, correct me. I think it's gibbets. But um, I do like the little gibbets that they put on this joint, man. You see, you got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like uh, cereal. Uh, I thought that always was a dope little concept with Cinnamon Toast Crunch when they made like the, 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 the actual cereal, like little cartoon characters. And then on the right shoe, you have an actual bowl of cereal on there, man. I know, it's something different, man. Wacky, wacky as hell for me, man. I never really did no review of this. I uh, wish I would've did the Bad Bunny joints because my brother did hit on them. So I know they be doing like different collaborations. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Are y'all copping something like this? Um, for me, it's not for me, but it's for somebody. It's, it's not for me. And obviously it's for somebody because they, they sell or not. So I personally do not want these or need them, but I do think it's a dope concept. But we think about just dope different things. I do think it's different. I do think it's, um, I do think it's something that I would say is very creative. And I like what they approach. Like I said, the actual box itself smells like cinnamon toast crunch though. Like I'm not even, I'm not even capping. Like it smells like cinnamon, bro. Like it's crazy, it's crazy. So that's the inside of the box. Um, they are covered in this paper, this crop, crop paper right here. So that's pretty dope. And like I said, man, I think it's dope that this is in a like the pop culture scene now. I personally wouldn't wear them, but I think it's dope, man. I think it's dope. I think it's dope that they came up with a creative concept. I'm glad they're doing these collaborations. I'm glad companies are starting that. I'm just glad that companies that weren't really talking about much in any scene are finally getting the recognition. Um, I do hate that sometimes they, um, you know, they kind of just blend in and try to, you know, uh, milk the situation, no pun intended. But I think, um, you know, for Crocs, it's nothing crazy, but I do think, you know, in this situation, it was a dope little collab. Fried chicken one was a little extreme, but I think that's what's allowing them to uh, continue to have their steam, is that Crocs uh, are really versatile. You can get some crazy ones for the people that love like the crazy, wacky uh, concepts. And then you got your guys or girls that just want the plain black or green or tan colorways when it comes to Crocs. And for me personally, um, you have to give it the Crocs. Uh, when you think about just all the easy foam runners and all the different stuff, yeah, you gonna we all gonna say, oh, you know that what you know that's Yeezys, that's Kanye's, Yeezys concept. But when you look at it, bro, we gotta think about the foundation. And for me personally, I always saw Crocs as a foundation for it. And look at it now, all of it. And I think just to be honest, it go hand in hand because without the easy foam runners, I feel like the whole crop thing wouldn't be as popular. Maybe I'm wrong, but just in my opinion, I think with the whole uh, the foam runners and the um, the slides, all that stuff, I think without Crocs, you can't really mention them. But at the same thing, I, I can say that the the Yay, the, with Yay's creative concept with the easy foam runners and the slides and stuff, this definitely made it like a more impactful, uh, useful and wearable uh, slide or shoe to put on throughout the day and be convenient and now they add a style and creativity to it. So yeah man that's pretty much it for the actual croc cinnamon toast crunch uh uh shoe. Um crazy enough I've never worn a pair of croc clogs but some of my boys do they say it's the most comfortable thing in the world man and um I personally think this is a dope concept Paying resale for these, nah, maybe $20, $25 if you really, really want them, man. But don't go spend like 200 bucks on nothing like this, bro. It's not, in my opinion, it's not worth it. You can get so much other stuff for that price. But yeah, man, that is it, man. Your boy about to wrap up the video. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feast, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Y'all make sure y'all go check out my new Bo Jackson uh, Nike uh, SC trainer video. It is now up and it is an early look. Couple other early looks on the channel as well. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, man. Y'all make sure y'all liking these videos that way we can go to the moon with the channel, man. Thank y'all for watching, man. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all.